Hello, today we discuss class 12th chapter 10 vector algebra part 4. Let us see contents of today's episode, previous knowledge of vectors, vector or cross product of two vectors, observations, properties of vector product and finally, application of vector product. So, first we recap vectors. Previous knowledge, in this previous knowledge, first of all we discuss position vector. So, what is position vector? Position vector means position of any point from origin. Let us see, if A B be any line segment, then position of A from origin. So, O A is called position vector of A and it is denoted also by vector A. Same position of point B from origin. So, O B is position vector of B and it is also denoted by vector B. In general, let P be any point and position of P from origin means O P is position vector of P and in general it is denoted by vector R. Now, we know about magnitude of the vector. So, what is magnitude? Actually, magnitude means scalar quantity, distance. So, magnitude of any vector A, vector A magnitude, it is distance from O to A, distance from O to B means magnitude of vector B. And if magnitude of A B, then magnitude of vector A B, it means distance from A to B. Next is unit vector. So, what is unit vector? Actually, if we have magnitude 1 means distance 1, then the vector is called unit vector. Just remain. If in x axis 1, then O A magnitude of O A equal to 1 means if magnitude of any vector equal to 1 unity, then vector is called unit vector and it is denoted by R cap, A cap, B cap. Next is components of vector. Let vector A equal to A 1 I cap plus B 1 J cap plus C 1 K cap. Then A 1, B 1 and C 1 are scalar quantity. So, A 1, B 1 and C 1 are scalar components and A 1 I cap, B 1 J cap and C 1 K cap are vector component means if direction include in scalar quantity, then we have vector component. Next is vector joining two points. If A B 
be any line segment from a to b here a is initial point and b is terminal point so vector ab equal to position vector of b means b minus a vector joining two points then a b vector equal to b minus a if we have b a then vector a minus vector b next one is product of two vectors scalar product and vector product if we have after product only magnitude not direction then product is called scalar or dot product but we have direction with magnitude then product is called vector product or cross product the vector product of two non zero vectors a and b denoted by cross product of a and b equal to magnitude of a into magnitude of b sin theta n cap here magnitude of a magnitude of b and sin theta is magnitude and n cap is a normal unit vector means if we cross product a and b then direction of cross product will be perpendicular to both vectors at c a be any vector and b be other vector i put my hand on vector a and move my finger from a to b then direction of thumb will be normal of a and b so n cap is normal unit vector and theta angle between a and b theta equal to greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to pi now if either a equal to 0 or b equal to 0 means a or b equal to 0 then theta is not defined so in this case cross product of a and b equal to 0 so we have two non zero vectors it's compulsory let's see more observations a cross b is a real vector let a and b be two non zero vectors then a cross b equal to 0 previously we see that if a and b either a or b is zero vector then cross product of a and b equal to 0 but if a and b be two non zero vectors and cross product of a b equal to 0 it's possible if and only if vector a parallel to vector b if vector a parallel to vector b then angle between a and b theta equal to 0 if theta equal to 0 means sin theta equal to 0 then a cross b equal to 0 if theta equal to pi a a but from origin o b and o a o a is a and o b is vector 
minus a. So, angle between a b is a pi, then sin pi is also 0. So, cross product of a and b equal to 0. If theta equal to pi by 2 means a and b, angle 90 perpendicular sin 90 1. So, a cross b equal to magnitude of a into magnitude of b and cap direction must. So, if theta equal to pi by 2 then cross product of a and b equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b and cap. Let us see more observations for mutually perpendicular unit vectors i, j and k. So, what is i, j and k? Let us see we know in 3D x, y and z axis. Distance from origin 1, 1 and 1, A, B and C, O A equal to 1, magnitude of O A is 1 means magnitude of O A is I cap, unit vector magnitude is 1 on x axis. If y axis we have j cap and in z axis we have k cap. I cross I means both parallel, then angle theta is 0, j cross j both parallel to y axis, angle theta is 0, k cross k means both parallel to z axis. So, theta is 0. Hence, i cross i, j cross j and k cross k will be 0. And if i cross j, then direction is perpendicular to i and j means k cap j and k direction is i cap and k cross i direction will be j cap. In this cyclic i j k, we know very well in this cyclic uh, figure i j and k. From i to j, we have k cap. From j to k, we have i cap and from k to i, we have j cap. Cross product is not commutative means if cross product j to i, then we have minus k cross product of i to k, we have minus j cap and cross product of opposite direction k to j, we have i cap. Simply, if we move anti-clock direction, positive direction, then we have positive. But if we move clockwise direction, means in, in uh, negative direction, then we have minus. So, uh, A cross B equal to minus B cross A. Let us see more. Properties of vector product, some important property. First is distributive property. Distributivity of vector product over addition. Let A, B and C be three vectors, then A cross B plus C 
equal to a cross b plus a cross c and second property is if lambda be any scalar quantity and lambda multiplied by a cross b or lambda multiplied by a then cross product of b and if a cross product with lambda b all are same. Let us see more vector product of a and b. In simple way, if two vectors a and b are given in component form as a 1 i cap plus a 2 j cap plus a 3 k cap and v 1 j cap plus v 2 j cap plus v 3 k cap respectively. Then their vector product may be given as we solve it in determinant form easily. Just see a cross b equal to first row will be i j k second row scalar component of first vector and final row will be scalar component of second vector means a cross b equal to determinant of this. Let us see one example. Find a cross b if a and b are given then a 1 equal to 3 a 2 equal to 1, a 3 equal to 4, b 1 equal to 1, b 2 equal to minus 1 and b 3 equal to 1. First of all, we find out a 1, a 2, a 3, b 1, b 2, b 3, then cross product of a and b equal to determinant i cap j cap k cap second row a 1 a 2 a 3 means 3 1 4 scalar component of vector a and third row will be 1 minus 1 and 1 scalar component of vector b. If we solve it i cap 1 plus 4 minus j cap 3 minus 4 plus k cap minus 3 minus 1 means 4 plus 1 5 i cap minus 1 minus j plus j cap and minus 4 k cap. It is vector a and b cross product of a and b. Let us see applications. First application is if A and B we represent the adjacent sides of a triangle then area of triangle AB and AC two adjacent sides AB vector B and AC vector A. Then area of triangle ABC. In class 10th, we know right triangle ACD, we draw CD perpendicular AB, then by trigonometric law CD equal to CD, P upon H equal to sin theta. So, C D equal to magnitude of 
a sin theta distance c d equal to magnitude of a sin theta. Now, area of triangle a b c equal to half base a b into perpendicular c d half distance of a b means magnitude of p into c d means magnitude of a sin theta. It means area of triangle a b c equal to half magnitude of a magnitude of b sin theta. It is not vector quantity. It means area of triangle equal to magnitude of a cross b half of magnitude of a cross b. Let us know about it one example. Find the area of a triangle having the points a, b and c as it is vertices. Here a, b, c are in scalar quantity. So, first of all we draw one triangle a, b, c. a is 1, 1, 1, b is 1, 2, 3 and c is 2, 3, 1. After that we have vector a b and vector a c, two adjacent vectors either a b and a c or b a and b c or c a and c b. Now, a b equal to position vector of b minus a position vector of a equal to b 1 2 3 minus 1 1 1 means 0 i cap 0 i cap 2 minus 1 plus j cap 3 minus 1 plus 2 k cap a c vector c minus a 2 minus 1 i cap 3 minus 1 2 j cap 1 minus 1 k cap 0 k cap. Now, area of triangle A B C equal to half of magnitude A cross B. So, first of all we find out A cross B equal to determinant of I j and k. Second row 0 1 2, third row 1 2 0 equal to i cap 0 minus 4 minus j 0 minus 2 plus k cap 0 minus 1 equal to minus 4 i cap plus 2 j cap minus k cap. After that magnitude of 
A and B, the cross product of A and B will be minus 4 square plus 2 square plus minus 1 square and we have area of triangle. Let us see one more application, area of parallelogram. If A and B represent the adjacent sides of a parallelogram, then area of parallelogram is given by magnitude of A cross B. Here A B and A D be two adjacent sides B vector and A vector. D E perpendicular to A B, magnitude of D E will be magnitude of A sin theta. Area of parallelogram equal to base into altitude. Then base magnitude of B into altitude magnitude of A sin theta. Here magnitude of A into magnitude of B sin theta equal to magnitude of A cross B. Let us see one example. Find the area of a parallelogram whose adjacent sides are this. So, first of all we find out A cross B, I cap, J cap, K cap. Second row, scalar component of vector A, 3, 1, 4. Third row, scalar component of vector B, 1, minus 1 and 1. After that, we find out magnitude of A cross B means finally area of parallelogram. So, what we discuss today, let us see. Vector or cross product of two vectors, observations of cross product, properties of cross product and some applications. Thank you.